Hey there, welcome to The Instant Pianist. Today I'm offering a crash course in the use of pitch bend or pitch bender, as some keyboardists prefer to use. So, you may already have some tasty licks under your fingers, but you're looking for ways to enhance your current sense of funkiness. Typically, keyboard players use actual keyboard techniques, uh, sans pitch bender, uh, to add soulful, savory flavors to their sound. One of the most popular ways to approximate a bending of the pitch is a hammer-on style approach, which can be achieved by either implementing a tasty whole step grace note, or sliding from a black note into a white note, similar to how a baseball player slides into home plate. This super nifty invention called a pitch bend or pitch bender came along around 1970 and it really helps us keyboardists to be that much closer to our friends who play guitar. Now we too can access those delectable spaces in between the notes. And here's the shortest history lesson you've ever had. You will not find a pitch bend on instruments like this. Um, or this for that matter. So basically any keyboard instrument that was in vogue in the 17th century definitely does not have a pitch bend unless the bellows are leaking. Ah, and finally, to the mightiest of all instruments, the piano. At least in its acoustic form, this also lacks a pitch bender, unless, of course, this is how you refer to your piano tuner. Sometimes they look like a wheel. Some look like a tiny, teeny wheel. Others have a joystick like a 1980s arcade game, and uh, still others have a nifty ergonomic shape that's perfect for your finger, but in the end, they pretty much all do the same thing. So here's my advice. Set the parameter for your pitch bend to be a whole step. Anything else might get a tad overwhelming. And even though the wheel is set to a whole step, you do not have to bend it all the way. Here's another option. Try the pitch bend in the lower position before you actually play the note, then release it to realize the intended note. Also, for some serious fun, try playing the quote-unquote same note by oscillating between the actual note and the note above or below while compensating with the pitch bend. And there you have it, a little background, a little history lesson, and some awesome techniques to consider when you use your trusty pitch bend wheel.